Hey folks, and welcome to Greg's Golf Shack. I was gonna make a video today about how to dial in your short putting, but I realized I need to re-grip my putter. It's very slick and slippery, doesn't really feel good. It's hard to get a good connection, feel connected to the putter. And I think people need to realize that the putter is the club that we use the most throughout our bag, and the grip is gonna wear down, and it is important to feel like you have a nice connection there, and it just, feels good and confident. So I like the oversized putter grip. I tried one, I ordered one on Amazon, a Cham Key one, it was only $20, uh, but it's a little more oversized than I would like, a little bit bigger than the Super Stroke 2.0 that I usually like, the pistol grip. Now, sometimes at some stores, these are like $45 Canadian or something. I found this one on Amazon for $30, so not a bad deal time to change it. Now I apologize for the mess here. I don't really have a gripping station in the middle of winter. My shed is buried under snow, so I'm just making do. And you know, you can, if you need to save these grips, you can try and remove them with one of these regripping tools. I have a video to show you how to do that with regular grips. Some people might use air compression to try and pop the grip off. I find it difficult to remove these big ones because they're just so tight. There's not a lot of room for it to flex and let you get this tool down in there or to let air really expand it. Now it can be done, but eh, I just assume cut it off and start over again. So I'm gonna start by cutting off this grip. I gotta get through all these layers. Be careful when you're cutting it. Sorry if my arm is in the way there. Actually, this is cutting through really nice. Now it's not a graphite shaft, so I don't have to worry about the knife touching the steel as I cut through that. Now I've just got to start trying to peel it off. I mean, I can see the tape is actually coming off with this. That's great. Push it off. You can see why it would be tough to kind of save these grips. So I got to pry it off there. It's a big, tough grip. Come on, baby. And there we go. That thing's off. That's going to be garbage. Boy, it's so slick and oily. You know, a lot of the oils in our hands get onto those grips and just a lot of wear. They get slippery and just feel uncomfortable. Now I'm going to peel off some of these remnants of tape here just so I have a nice smooth fit. All right, the tape is off there. Now I can see where the tape was originally, but sometimes you want to just kind of stick the grip there, make a little mark to where you want to run the tape to. And we'll stick on this tape, just like that. Roll it on there. I don't want to close the tape all the way around until I start peeling it off here in case it overlaps. So we'll start peeling that side, wrap that tape around, stick it on nice. You don't really want any wrinkles there. It's not gonna hurt it that much, but it slips on easier if it's nice and smooth. You don't wanna feel any wrinkles under your grip, although you're not gonna feel anything under these big, thick, bad boys. All right, I've got some grip solvent here. I'm just gonna spray it on that grip like that. Spray some in there. Now I'm going to pop it on there. These are a little tougher. You gotta really kind of fit it on. Slide it on there. Just twist away till I get it all the way in. I probably could have put some more solvent, but there we go. All the way in. And now we have to focus on the alignment. Now I will generally line up the putter head. So this flat top is kind of a 90 degree angle. It's difficult to tell exactly how I like the putter grip aligned until I set up into my putting position. So I'm gonna take it out of the vise, get over into a putting position, and then start adjusting a little bit from there. All right, so now this can be where you get into your putting position and you try to check and see if it's aligned properly. Now you'll notice this is a big grip on a shaft, so I wanna make sure where the shaft aligns with the putter head. So my grip is going to be out a little bit further than the putter head. And I want it to be in line with the line on the putter, but it's gonna be out a little bit further like this. And it's gonna be up 
a little higher than that line. So it's really hard to line this up and show you in the camera here, but you want to look for this nice little angle here uh, and adjust it for your putting style. If you putt with more of a forward shaft lean, you might want to square it up that way. So you need to adjust it to be fit for you. This looks like I've got to twist it a little bit. It looks pretty good for my putting style. So there we have it. It's on there. It feels good. I twisted and shaped it just a little bit more as I took my grip and felt where the putter head was with my grip. You can do that too. And you have a little bit of time to adjust it before it really sets in. But uh, I'm gonna let that dry for a couple of hours so it doesn't adjust on me again. And then I'm ready to make some putts. That feels good. I hope uh, that's instructive and helps you maybe change your putter grip. And uh, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time on Greg's Golf Shack. <laughs> <laughs>